hi Vicki, thanks so much to, for joining me today. I'm so glad to have you as our volunteer of the quarter this quarter. Um, so I just have a few questions for you. Um, so the first one is, how did you um, come to be involved with community boards? Well, let's see. I actually was a volunteer mediator with the Problem Resolution Center at UCSF. And given that experience, I wanted to find ways that I could, or, or I wanted to find more opportunities within San Francisco where I lived where I could be a mediator. So I heard about community boards, and here I am. Great. Well, we're glad to have you and all the things you've done for us over the years. Um, so what motivated you to become a mediator specifically? Well, I work in the human resources field, and I pretty much see conflict in the workplace almost every day. And being in the human resource field, I was looking for tools uh, or techniques on how I could diffuse or deal with conflict in the workplace. And I wanted to uh, resolve disputes at the earliest possible uh, level. Wonderful. So what have you found most rewarding about being a mediator? Well, I think what's most rewarding is when the parties reach either new understandings or they find out something new about themselves or about others, about the other party in the mediation. Of course, it's very rewarding if they reach an agreement, but that's not always the goal. So basically, I think in, in a nutshell that they've, they've come together and reached some new understandings they didn't have before. What have you found most challenging about being a mediator? Well, most challenging for me is basically three things. Coming into the mediation and being present for myself, being present for the parties and being present for the co-mediators. That's basically being able to clear my mind and being aware of any biases, opinions, um, prejudices that I might have so that I can be fully present and listen completely uh, and compassionately to the, to the parties. Great. Um, so what advice might you have for uh, new mediators or people interested in becoming mediators? Well, basically, it's really important to get the training, and I think that if you've got the training, you should also try to update the training periodically. I think what's also really important is to, every day, practice active listening. And the best ways to do that are when you're either in conflict with somebody during the day, or you've had a disagreement, or you're not getting along, or you've had an argument and you're not feeling really good about something, that's the time to practice active listening. Well, great. Thanks so much, Vicki. It's been a great honor to have you in our, in our pool of mediators and facilitators and also helping with role play coaching. You've been a great asset, and thanks for joining me today. Okay, thank you.